In a small country with few natural resources, Israelis have harnessed the one resource that the Jewish people have valued for hundreds of years, the power of the human mind. And in October, we spotlight some of the innovators and innovations that have made Israel into a high-tech powerhouse in just 60 years. Yosef Abramowitz, 48, has been dubbed Captain Sunshine by his colleagues and has recently been declared one of six green pioneers by CNN. He is the founder of Arava Power Company at Kibbutz Ketura, a firm that brought Israel's first medium-sized solar field to life. Today, it is developing a 40-megawatt solar field which will produce power equivalent to one-third of the electricity needs of Eilat. Abramowitz has worked to bring solar energy not only to the Negev Bedouin population, but also to such places as Haiti and Rwanda. Smartphones are doing more and more every day, from checking the stock markets to playing games. But did you know that your cell phone can soon be used to monitor your health? LifeWatch Technologies is an Israeli company that has developed the world's first medical smartphone. The device can make calls and other normal smartphone functions, but it also records important medical information and uploads it to LifeWatch's remote monitoring service. This records a user's health and updates his or her medical records. If necessary, it also alerts emergency services. Users monitor themselves with the LifeWatch 5 by holding it on its four corners where the measurement and monitoring sensors are located. To take their temperature, users pass the device across their foreheads. How do plants grow in unfavorable conditions? That is what Professor Daniel Hillel wanted to find out. Professor Hillel has recently been awarded the World Food Prize for his work in Increasing the Quality, Quantity, or Availability of Food in the World. For 40 years, Dr. Hillel has worked to solve this problem by bringing his micro-irrigation techniques to the driest and least hospitable growing climates on Earth, from Israel to Pakistan to Sudan. He earned his Ph.D. in soil physics and ecology at the Hebrew University in 1957, and during this time he began to develop the concept behind drip irrigation. This technique in water distribution has changed the way farming is done for millions of people around the world, including Arab countries such as Jordan, Egypt, and the United Arab Emirates. Is it any wonder that more than 10,000 U.S. companies do business in or with Israel? They don't do it because they have a strong interest in Middle East politics. They do it because Israel has a pool of talent that helps them imagine, develop, and market some of the world's latest and most important innovations in everything from medicine to agriculture to computing. To borrow a phrase, Israelis bring good things to life.